Well, welcome back to the uh, video tutorial series. Today we're going to be looking at Cloud Hypervisor. It's this new uh, Rust machine monitor. Uh, it's a machine monitor written in Rust. It's got all these cool features. Um, you know, Alibaba, ByteDance, Intel, Tencent, Amper. Um, so, uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna boot some Unix kernels on Cloud Hypervisor today. Let's uh, pop into the shell. All right, so uh, we got this um, this program here, and I don't have my uh, all my setup here, but so it's just a little uh, Go program. Iterates through ten, says hello from Nanos. I went ahead and already uh, built it, as you can kind of see. Um, so uh, so we built that. I copied it over here into this directory. And then I also have my cloud hypervisor here. Wow, that's pretty small, four meg. It's not not bad. Um, and then we have the kernel uh, from Nanos that we copied over, uh, just to show you where you can get that if you're building from source. Um, it'll be in Nanos output platform PC boot. Um, actually, sorry, then kernel image. So this is where you should be able to find it. Obviously, uh, this is the nanos path. I just copied it over here. And uh, we'll look at our little run script here. Pretty basic. We just set the path. We uh, pass it the kernel. And then um, we uh, pipe it to the serial. I'm just going to kind of sudo su on up because um, I don't have anything set up on this box. And it'll be a little bit easier to uh, just one of these passwords. All right, so, um, and then we just pop it up like so. And you can see it's off to the races. Um, you can see some new lines are off here. Uh, that's, that's probably just some configuration that we have to do. Uh, there's a API that you can put onto this, um, but uh, we'll have to save that for a different day. For now, I'm just, I'm just gonna, Kill this off so we can end the show. Uh, anyways, so that's your demo. Uh, running uh, Nanos Union Kernels under Cloud Hypervisor. Uh, I think you could make some really cool serverless-like features with this. Uh, talk to you next time.